uh, hey there, YouTubers. Um, I can never get it started. I, hey there, YouTubers. Uh, Mr. Film Gamer here, aka uh, Sean, if you've seen my other channels. Uh, let me tell you about a little bit about myself. Um, I've been collecting video formats, or I should say movies in general. I'm a huge uh, movie collector uh, since at least the early 90s, late to, uh, about mid to late 90s. I've been big into, movie, big into movies. Um, it wasn't really until um, maybe about eight years ago before I no, uh, about ten years ago before I actually started getting into games. <clears throat> My first video games, the uh, first video games I actually got into was the Game Boy games, the Game Boy Advance games, and those were pretty fun. Um, but in this video, I'm gonna show you guys uh, basically probably my <coughs> most favorite games to play on the PlayStation 2, which is my very first games um, uh, game system I ever bought, and um, <coughs> my favorite one of all time, basically I probably should say. Um, yeah, so right now um, I'm going to show you guys my Star Wars video game collection. And I'm going to start off with Star Wars Jedi Starfire. And this one is pretty good game. I played it. It's uh, it's pretty good. The, the um, controls are pretty simple. The, ma the uh, maps are pretty good. And if you're into, um, it's basically it's all, um, the whole game has to deal with uh, being on a, uh, Uh, next game I have is uh, Star Wars The Bounty Hunter. It's a pretty good game. I thought it was pretty hard. The controls are a little eh. But um, I definitely want to play this one again. I haven't played it all the way through. And I probably should. And uh, I'm actually pretty much looking forward to it. It's, it's pretty good. It's just getting to know the controls is, is a little difficult. Uh, this was a pretty good game when it came out. I remember I actually played it with my friends. I actually played his for the longest time before I bought my own. And that is Star Wars Episode 3, the game. And referring to the set. Um, I thought it was pretty good. I actually probably should do some, um, I may do a walkthrough of this or not. If not, maybe some, just quick, some, uh, quick shots from, uh, you know, for the channel. Probably do some video shots of that. Uh, this game, I got, I, I hate to say it, I haven't played it that much. I probably should get back into it. Uh, I may be beat a couple levels a couple levels in it but I haven't really got far into it and that is Star Wars Race Revenge yeah be Race Revenge uh Racer Revenge yeah um it's a pretty good game I thought that the controls are pretty easy to learn um <coughs> it's, the maps are great to play in um, yeah. Another game <clears throat> I was so looking forward to playing and uh, was extremely excited. I bought this brand new when I first bought it. Uh, I remember the first time I actually went to GameStop to get it. It was the day it was released and they were out. So I was pretty disappointed. And I was later on disappointed finding out that this was the version that was... Um, wasn't as good as the uh, other versions, meaning, for instance, it's the PlayStation 2 version, it wasn't as good as the 360 and the PS3. And I must say, after playing it the first time, I thought it was pretty good, but after finding out and playing the demos for the other two systems, I can't really get back into it, although I probably should, and that game is The Force Unleashed. I do want to get it for the PC version, because, um, Oh, by the way, one thing I forgot to mention was, uh, not to get off topic, um, I also, for video game systems, oh wait, I did talk about that. Screw it. Um, so, yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention. I do not have PS3 or Xbox 360 or Wii, which I probably should get into at some point in time. Uh, when I had the money. <laughs> but, uh, I think this is a game worth willing to try again for me anyway. 
um, because I thought it was excellent the first time I played it. And I've tried to play it two or three times now, and I just haven't got into it, but I'm going to try it again and see what happens. <sighs> these games were awesome when they came up. I thought these two were great, and, you know, even though uh, they're two separate discs for the PlayStation 2 version, and you can get them now in single discs uh, together in one pack for the 360 and the PS3, it doesn't really bother me, and that is the LEGO Star Wars series of Star Wars. These were excellent. I thought they were extremely funny. I thought they were very good games. I was addicted to both of them. Um, you guys will notice I have this one. I have partial walkthrough on there. I probably should finish up the walkthrough. And I'll probably be doing a walkthrough of this one. Both games are excellent. I mean, the layouts, they're awesome. The controls are so simple to learn. Um, I really enjoyed the maps. Uh, the characters, I really enjoyed. I loved collecting all the money, just trying to get as much get as much money as you can to build those ships to get more characters and then the fun part is playing it over after you beat the game and continue playing it again but you can play as different characters I really enjoyed it um, <coughs> I would give these an excellent excellent review I thought these were extremely good games <coughs> and last not but not least have to be the be my favorite Star Wars games for the PlayStation 2 ever and that is the Star Wars Battlefront games and as you guys know my channel is crazy over Battlefront 2 which is actually my favorite of the two but <clears throat> and basically the only reason it's my favorite is because you can play as um, the lead, uh, you know play as leaders and you can also play online not I mean you could play on this but it's offline now nobody plays anymore but this was great um, which is also I really enjoy because uh, you get to uh, you know play with other people get to know people learn get new friends stuff like that but I thought this was an extremely good game. I mean, <coughs> the maps were excellent. Um, I did think the graphics were a little sharper in the original, but I really enjoyed the conquests and these. The multiplayer is awesome. Um, oh, if you play instant action, it's pretty fun. I love playing as different characters. As you know, during like you know, you can go to hunt mode. You can go to. I love playing capture the flag. I love, uh, or even just doing conquest or whatever it's extremely fun and this game I just like conquering the game this one's pretty good um, <laughs> I do have a few d um, videos of this if I should upload to YouTube so I will be showing you guys some of the stuff I did on this um, and I think that's basically <laughs> it uh, excuse me I have a cold so I've been coughing a lot lately so if I do a cough I apologize it's getting annoying but yeah I would say these are uh, this, is my, this is all the games I have for PS2 for Star Wars, and by the way, I am a huge fan of Star Wars. I'll probably be showing you guys. I have a I have a lot of memorabilia from Star Wars. I have books, posters, records, VHS tapes. Um, I guess you could probably say some collectibles and you know action figures and so on and so forth. I'll do a video about that later on. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, whatever and comment and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and there will be many more to come after this. Thanks for watching. See you guys.